We can learn from Senegal, form strong coalition and send Tunubu and APC parking Article tells opposition parties. Is it not funny that the only thing Article picked is forming opposition parties? Meanwhile, the person who won the president is very young. He did not learn that. Let us in detail, please. Article also advised him to ensure that his election would not only be beneficial to the people of Senegal, but should also be an inspiration to the rest of the people of the West African sub-region. Former Vice President and Presidential Candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the 2023 general elections, Atiku Abubakar has congratulated the Senegal's President-elect, Basiru Doumaye Faye, for a well-deserved victory. Atiku also advised him to ensure that his election would not only be beneficial to the people of Senegal, but would also be an inspiration to the rest of the people of the West African sub-region. Atiku, who stated this in a statement on Friday, reiterated his call for opposition parties to forge a coalition that would be formidable enough to ask the ruling party or Progressive Congress APC if the salvaging of Nigeria was to stand any chance. Against the backdrop of recent military intervention in the West African sub-region, the election of Basoro Diomaye Faye as Senegal's president-elect in the election of March 24, 2024, gives hope to the future of constitutional democracy in the region, the former vice president explained. Atiku, however, noted that there was a huge lesson for Nigerians and elsewhere to learn from Senegal experience. It is an affirmation that democracy, which is anchored on the supremacy of the ballot, represents the best form of government. It is also possible for the electoral umpire to run an election on the basis of law and its own guidelines and give confidence to all parties and the voters. He said that Nigerians' experiences on both 2019 and 2023 show clearly that an independent national electoral commission performed below these expectations. Whereas in Senegal, the responses of the major actors and the citizens are a validation of the process of the election that voted for President-elect Basir Dumaye. It is important to note that last Sunday's election in Senegal follows a friend of that in Nigeria in 2015 that the opposition can indeed be victorious in an election conducted by the ruling party. And for the opposition parties, the lessons are in agreement with you. My persistence call for opposition parties to forge a coalition that is formidable enough to ask the ruling party if the salvaging of Nigeria is to stand any chance. Congratulations, President Alex Faye. It is my hope and prayer that your election will not only be hugely beneficial to the people of Senegal, but also an inspiration to the rest of us in the West African sub region. This statement partly reads. So, like I said, that is the only thing I think it took home from that particular election. Hmm? That is the only thing I think it took home. get a CPU. Sincerely get a CPU. He did not say that that particular man is actually very young. You know, Sian. You know, he say, oh, this person with the elect is young. And see, the thing is, they are always coming out to say to ask the ruling party, to ask the ruling party to remove the ruling party and all of that. If you remove the ruling party and the party that came in the silver and dutch, we need to be struggling to remove it. It is not see forming an opposition is no longer the right way to go. The right way to go is to make sure that people vote someone who is actually, you know, somebody they know that you will not disappoint them, somebody that will not let them down, somebody who truly wants the best for the country. And for the citizens as well. After President Trumbo, we want a young person like Senegal President. He choked. That is it. He's not seeing the young there. <laughs> oh God. He, he's, he, he's doing selective, uh, what's it called? In the big way, saying learn. So, me, it is known that yes, it is very possible you can actually, uh, what's it called? You can come outside and win the ruling party, but that is not the bone of contention here. The bone of contention is a big deal for Africans, for somebody that young. How many years a man did? If there is any lesson to learn from Senegal, the first lesson is for old and recycled politicians to leave the stage for the young ones. Exactly. 
It's not just about opposition presenting all the entire politicians to run for election as if we were short of vibrant youth in Nigeria. By supporting a candidate that is less than 50 years old, just like Senegal president is in his forces, all of you, the old parole politicians, including Obi, should leave the stage now. Nigerians have already done that in 2023 presidential election, but INEC, Judiciary and Security Personnel, has proven to Nigerians that our votes does not count. This man should go and rest. Nigeria leadership is far beyond your mental capacity. For you and your generation at the major region, Nigeria is in this status. The thing is, I'm actually surprised that he's still coming out to talk at this time. I think say his quietness means say he don't retire. Say maybe he don't wash your hands. Come off for anything concerning politics. That can be supported when you step aside and support the motion. You must not be the president. You and your fellow party members should support P2B and send APC packing. If you can perform excellently in the past election with little support and throw a check on the INEC chairman, he will win. This time around, we need somebody who is 40 years old to vote for the position of president. Then you will stand as another state. Not so it's supposed to be. He was coming out to say we should form an opposition. But also, you should come and say to be saying people should also pick. I mean, people should also take. Hmm? People should also uh, take that particular advice. Well said, then people like you should go and rest because you are the reason why Nigeria is knows that. You see, he's not saying that particular one. Meaning, even you, Atiku Ababaka, aren't qualified to be Nigerian president. Well, guys, if you are doing that, that means we will also be sending you back in two. All old things should go away to give way for the new Nigeria. Atiku, as it stands today, you are the major problem of our modern democratic transition. That's your spirit, that it must be only me. Remove your interest in the presidential aspiration and be a father. I will agree with you, Abi. I will suddenly, I will suddenly sign, stand for the move if such person that will send to and APC packing in 2027 is young like the new Senegalese elected president. And such person have never jumped from one political party to another. Hmm. Okay. We're going to swallow learn from Senegal and elect a youth president and get rid of the press of recycled politicians who believe the presidency is a retirement home and keep telling us the same thing every day. But we help the youth in 2027. Enough is enough. Alright, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. So thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.